So CBN has set its new cash withdrawal limit to a hundred thousand naira weekly. Ouch! Before this, I think the withdrawal limit was a hundred and fifty thousand naira a day, and right now we have it at twenty thousand naira a day. That's your withdrawal limit, no matter who you are. You can withdraw more than twenty k per day in Nigeria, starting from the 9th of January, twenty twenty three. Second, you can withdraw more than a hundred thousand naira a week as an individual. But if you're a company or your FM, your daily limit is fifty thousand naira, very small, and your weekly limit is about five hundred thousand naira a week. The banks have also been directed to load their ATM machine with two hundred naira and denominations lower. To their ATM, so if you go and press ATM machine and ping ping pong 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 ping pong pong ping, what to come out is two hundred naira. Imagine wanting to withdraw twenty thousand. <laughs> you order twenty k, it's two hundred naira that is going to come out. So I'm wondering, is it that we can only get five hundred naira, one thousand naira from the counter? I did. Is it ah? I have designed this new one thousand naira note. Where will you go to? That's me thinking aloud, Sha. So we have 200 and lower from the ATM machine. Now, I don't know. I feel that this should be reviewed. That there is a whole lot that can that cannot even be bought with 1,000. Talk less of 200. So I really feel that this should be reviewed. And 500 and 1,000 that should be brought back. You know, right now, they have not given reasons why they are taking 500 and 1,000. So I'm basically just running commentary on all this and what is going on. All right, so here are five reasons why I think we're about to go cashless. One, like I said earlier, the maximum cash withdrawal over the counter by individuals is 100K a, a week and by corporate organizations is 500,000 Naira a week. Any withdrawal above this will attract 5% fee for the individuals and 10% fee for the companies or corporate organizations and this will discourage a lot of people so if I want to withdraw now 100,000 naira as an individual they will charge me 5% of 100,000 5% of 100,000 is 5,000 naira so if I want to withdraw 100k I will dash the bank 5,000 naira so you see that I withdraw 105 I will withdraw 100,000 and see give them 5,000 naira from an organization I will draw maybe um, a million naira and I'll give them 10% or 1 million. Wow! How much is that? You give them 100,000 Naira. So this is put in place to discourage people from wanting cash. Because I'm trying to go cashless. Second reason. Third party checks above 50,000 Naira shall not be eligible for payment over the counter. So if you bring a, a check for any to collect money from the bank above 50k, they won't give you. So if anybody writing check to you right now, it should be 50,000 Naira maximum for a day. That's what you can then collect um, over the counter, you know, with, um, with checks. Number three, the maximum cash withdrawal per week via ATM machine has been subjected to 100,000 and 20,000 per day. We have already talked about this. Number four, only denominations of 200 naira and below shall be loaded into the ATM machines. Jai. Oh boy. Five. The maximum cash withdrawals via POS point of sales in a day is what? 20k. So you go to POS, you cannot withdraw more than 20k from the 9th of January 2023. So, um, you know, there's a lot of reasons why the CBN is doing all this. And I just want to throw my own two cent contribution to this. So this whole um, redesign of the of in era has revealed a lot of wickedness that has been going on um, in the country. People hoarding money in crazy amount. Uh, you know, a lot of money has been hoarded and hoarded and hoarded and hoarded, and this money have decayed and have spoiled itself. So they are trying to make it more difficult for more and more cash, cash, not money. Okay more and more cash to be available in the market in the, in the, in the environment 
So I really, 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 really want to go crush. I think because of this, every shop is going to have um, a POS machine to help them run their, just run their daily businesses. So imagine I want to get something right now. I'll have to go with, with my ATM card or with my, um, so they call it debit card abroad, with my card, which I will now use to make payments for anything above maybe even 10,000 because now cash is very hard to find. You will have to use cash for simple things like maybe paying transport, buying toiletries, buying simple, simple things, and you know, just doing simple stuff. Right now, a lot of banks are going to have a lot of um, engagement. In fact, more banks may even have to open, come over, we'll have to open their bank accounts, get more ATMs. A lot of um, our microfinance options, maybe like Flutterwave, like um, Chiba Chase, um, like um, Kuda Bank. Just think of many online platforms, will online money platforms or online digital or banking platform, maybe like OP, um, Binance, things like that, are going to have a lot of traffic because right now the government is forcing the whole community, the whole country to become more digitalized in their spending. So you're going to buy a lot of things with your phone, with your, um, with your laptop, with your e-wallet, with your Binance or with you know, these different, or maybe your cryptocurrency, what are you using to make payments? But because of a reduced availability of cash, there would be a high, you know, um, it will be high, um, ah, what's affecting me right now? Just know that it's going to benefit us in the long run, okay? You know, you know that the government also wants to push for the use of in-era. So we have our own in-era, which is the digital currency. So when there's less cash, people will be forced to go digital. And in-era is going to have, it's going to skyrocket in its usage. There will be less um, cash to be hoarded by dubious people. And there will be less money needed to print more notes going forward. So there's a lot of benefit, economic benefit that um, this has and this will um, bring to the economy. So, um, you know, there are, there are ups and downs to this story. And as the days unfold, we'll bring you more updates as what will finally be obtainable as of January 9th, 2023. If you ask me, I feel that the 1,500 notes should be brought back into the ATM um, machines. Being that they see, for instance, now this uh, uh, um, two hundred naira does not have a lot of does not have purchasing power like that. A lot of us spend five hundred naira and one thousand naira because these are the, the notes with with um will I say better purchasing power right now in the country. Two hundred value of two hundred naira is very low. So when you're working around with a lot of two hundred naira, you have to use a lot of it to buy what you usually buy with one thousand naira. But like I said, the CBN has is yet to come out with the reasons why or i've not seen any reason why it is not loading 500 and 1000 naira in the atm machines but let's just see um well, like i said what unfolds in the days to come but like i said our tech industry our microfinance industry our small uh, microfinance people stand to gain a lot from this development